All right, everyone, I'm going to be sharing the story, My Favorite Animal, Octopus, by Victoria Marcos, and it's by Exist Publishing. All right, My Favorite Animal, Octopus. I know you can't see my face, but you can hear my voice. My favorite animals are octopuses or octopi. Did you know that you can you say the plural of octopus both ways, octopuses or octopi? Would you like to learn about them? I know I would. Octopuses have two eyes and four pairs of arms. Their mouths are at the center point of their arms. Interestingly, they have three hearts. Octopuses have no skeleton, no bones. This allows them to squeeze through tight spaces. Octopi inhabit many different regions of the ocean. They can live anywhere from coral reefs to on the ocean floor. Bottom-dwelling octopi mostly eat crabs and clams. Open ocean octopuses eat mostly prawns, fish, and other cephalopods. They first inject their prey with paralyzing saliva before eating them. Octopuses have both an excellent sense of sight and touch. There are two special organs in the octopus's brain that allow its eyes to always remain horizontal. The octopuses can taste what they touch through the suction cups on their arms. See the suction cups? It's pretty cool. Do you remember? What do octopuses do when they catch their prey? Hmm, check and see if you're right at the end of this book. Remember, you can go on to getepic.com and read it again and see for yourself. As the octopus swims, it trails its eight arms behind it. Here's its head swimming forward, and here are the eight arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, here we go. Octopuses move by swimming or crawling. They mostly crawl by walking on several of their arms at a time. They swim head first by expelling water through their bodies. I want you to remember that. The suction cups on the octopus's arms are used for grabbing onto rocks, catching prey, and for moving. Unlike squid and cuttlefish, the octopus's arms are not feeding tentacles. The arms catch the prey that they then put into their mouths. Adults usually weigh around 30 pounds with an arm span of up to 14 feet. Wow, that's big. Do you remember how octopuses move? Check and see if you're right at the end of this book. They have many ways of defending themselves against predators. They can release ink, use camouflage, jet quickly through the water, and hide. So they can hide, release ink, and use camouflage. Some species of octopuses can perform arm autonomy. This means their arms can detach and distract their predator and it gives them an opportunity to swim away. Other species are able to mimic or copy most dangerous animals or more dangerous animals such as sea snakes, eels, and lionfish. Do you remember? What can octopuses do that is similar to the way lizards defend themselves from predators? Check and see if you're right at the end of this book. They are one of the most intelligent of all invertebrates. Octopi have excellent memories and maze and problem-solving abilities. Did you say they could do mazes? Uh Uh-huh, pretty cool. They have also been observed playing. Octopuses often break out of their aquariums and sometimes into others looking for food. They have even crawled onto fishing boats and opened containers to eat crabs. Wow. What's your favorite thing about octopuses? Hmm. Do you remember? Oh, 
don't look at those answers. I want you to try and ask the, answer the questions first. Arm span, the distance between one end of an arm to the other. Do you remember for Valentine's Day, we measured your arm spans and we cut ribbons and put them inside a really pretty container for your moms and your dads? Autonomy, a reflex separation of a limb from the body. Remember, an octopus can break off one of its own arms to help protect itself. Bottom dwelling lives on the sea floor. Camouflage, a way of hiding or blending in. Cephalopods, any of a class, cephalopoda, of marine mollusks, including the squids, cuttlefishes, and octopuses. Diverse means different from each other. Expel to push. Inhabit to live in. Invertebrates without a spine. Predator, an animal that lives by hunting another by hunting other animals, and prey is an animal that is hunted by another animal for food. Okay, we finished the book, and you can go on to getepic.com and start the quiz. I'm also going to try and put it on Google Classroom for you. All right, I told you that I'm going to show you how to make an octopus out of recycled materials. So here I have a bag of bags. When I go shopping, I save the plastic bags if I don't bring my own ones that I can reuse each time. And I use them for other things. So I started off by stuffing a bag full of bags and I put a rubber band at the bottom. And now I can take a permanent marker. What kind of marker? Permanent, because I don't want to get the ink all over me. And I'm going to draw two eyes, one over here and one over here. All right, now an octopus has eight arms, four pair of arms. So here's what I did for that. I took another bag and I folded it. And then I drew eight lines. Can you see my lines? Then I decorated two the same with the same pattern. And I decorated the next two the same and the next two the same. So I'm gonna show you how I decorated. Again, I use a permanent marker so as not to get the ink all over. And on this one, I'm going to do a bunch of swirls on these two because I want them to match. So I keep going. After I'm done decorating, I very carefully take my scissors and cut them out. I cut the bottom of the bag. And then I cut on the lines. So you can use the scissors at home very carefully and cut on the lines. All right, I have a leg there and I have another leg here. I'm cutting on my lines. And then I have two more to cut out. Last one, and then I'm done with the cutting part, and I'll show you what to do next. All right. I have to make sure that I have all of my arms. Here we go. I take tape, and I'm going to tape my arms onto my octopus. So I take my arm, and the cool thing about using permanent marker is I drew on one side, but you can see through the other side. And then I tape my arms on, just like this. That's two. That's three. And four, and five. After five comes six. After six comes seven.
And last but certainly not least comes eight. An octopus has eight legs. And this is what my octopus looks like with all of its eight arms. I hope that you get to make an octopus too. And ask your folks to take a picture with their phones and send them to me either through class tag or through my email. I hope you had fun with me today. Don't forget to sign in to Get Epic and reread the octopus book. Try to take the quiz at the end. It's a lot of fun. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.